The Rensselaer County Democratic Election Commissioner was back in court today facing his second trial in connection with the 2009 Troy voter fraud case. Prosecutors say Edward McDonough was involved with forging absentee ballots. Jennifer Lukey was in court for jury selection. Edward McDonough was tried for these alleged crimes alongside former city councilman Michael Laporto earlier this year. That jury was deadlocked, and now this second time around, the men have separate trials. Michael Laporto was acquitted in July. Edward McDonough's attorney is convinced his client will see the same fate. My client uh, is not guilty, and I believe a jury will, will speak of that. But special prosecutor Trey Smith maintains McDonough forged absentee ballot requests during the working family's primary in 2009. He says now that the cases have been split, he thinks it'll be easier to prove McDonough's guilt. I have one less defendant. I have, you know, uh, 29 less counts to deal with. McDonough's attorney says this is what they wanted from the start, separate trials, so the jury doesn't get confused about who allegedly did what. Frankly, from a defense perspective, the first trial was very complicated and confusing uh, for the defense because they were somewhat uh, inconsistent defenses, and I think you all saw a little bit of that during the first trial. So it simplifies it for everybody, but I think primarily for the defense. As we all know, this case has been long and drawn out. It's already cost taxpayers upwards of $275,000, and that bill will continue to grow over the course of this trial. At the moment, the special prosecutor and his co-counsel aren't getting paid because the county is challenging some of their fees. I'm obligated to take the case, so I've done everything that I could uh, to proceed with the case, and you know I've made sacrifices. Mr. Hug has made sacrifices. Uh, to go forward with this thing. So, you know, I don't want the story to be about how, you know, two attorneys with small private practices haven't been paid in a year for their work. He says he'll worry about the bill after the jury makes the final say at this trial. In Troy, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. Jury selection will continue tomorrow. Opening statements are expected either Thursday or Friday.